Hello, this is a DIY video. I'll just turn this off for now. Right, this is a Wooster uh, Heat Slave 2025, uh, which is an oil burning boiler. And I'm just a DIY guy. Well, basically, we let our oil tank uh, go dry. So, uh, we had to, I had to re bleed it because it wouldn't work. So, I was looking for the bleed point. So, this thing here is the lockout switch there that goes red when it locks out and then this light here says lockout that comes on when it's not working right and what I needed to do was to get the air out of the system between the tank and the boiler and if you look at this what the torch is looking at here this the small pipe going in to the nut or just above that nut on the block there's a little there's a little nut that's your bleed nut right there the torch is on you just get a, yeah, a little, it's an 11 mil, 11 millimeter, and it goes just straight onto there, straight on there, like that, right? And you just undo it, and you press the lockout switch, and you undo it, and then you see a lot of uh, heating oil coming out, and it's full of bubbles. And then you just keep doing that, you keep pressing the lockout switch, which resets itself it goes on for a bit and then it turns off and it resets after a few seconds it resets and you do it again so in between you just tighten the nut up yeah when it's off then when you're ready to go again you hear it little you hear it click and then you undo it again and you'll see the air coming out just undo that little nut there and you see air coming out and then once the air's out of it and you've bled the system you you tighten it back up tight and then it should just fire up so I go back onto this and press. Hey, starting up, this is fire up. Now you can hear it firing up. And I'll be the fuel going in. You hear it firing up? You hear that? that fire up right there. Boom. So you won't hear that boom noise until you've actually bled this nut. Bled this system. Right. Cheers.